back to the channel it's awesome that you're tuning in so in today's video i have something pretty cool to show you here so we're having here the pandora box from the 90s this is the top fighter that's basically an, a fight stick that is made for the super nes and this thing is the hong kong stick and it is pretty pretty old <laughs> thing second hand for somebody and the reason was I just wanted to show you here for more like an inspiration what you can do you can buy a Pandora box but you can also make it yourself so what he did he put a Raspberry Pi inside an old school Pandora stick or arcade stick funny thing is I already owned one of these sticks and the reason I want to make the separate review because this is just pretty cool a Raspberry Pi inside is old school retro arcade stick and to be honest it doesn't even matter what kind of stick but i go also going to show you a little bit of a teardown to kind of show you how he made this so okay a little recap about the top fighter so the top fighter is like this old school arcade stick as you can see <laughs> again here this is really old school including the buttons old school button with a micro switch for the real old school authentic gameplay so basically what you're going to do is with these buttons is for, you can make a program for this that you say from I want to have this rapid fire or something else. I did a separate review about the joystick where I'm showing you how it works. We have in turbo mode, we have in six buttons. So we are limited to certain games. Let's say all the arcade game can be played with this. Here you can enter the turbo mode for certain buttons and here you can choose select and start for example because we're going to need it in certain game. For example arcade we need the select button for entering credit. But all the functionalities like in Pandora Box stick is here. Okay, so let's talk about the cabling. So what you can see here we have USB because the Raspberry Pi inside works on 5 volts. So what you're going to need is, for example, a phone charger for the power. Here we have a female version of the USB connection because here we can attach the controller number 2. And this very long wire. Cable nightmare. This is the HDMI that you plug in your television, like in Pandora Box. Everything is attached on the inside, so you cannot remove the HDMI connection. So that is no way. All right, so it's running on emulation station, and with the Pi Zero, there are different packs out there. You can basically make your own Raspberry Pi pack just by adding the game through the Wi-Fi. Very easy, very convenient, and way better than the official Pandora Box, because most of the time you cannot even add games. All right, let's go. No, <laughs> this place is really strange. Beefcake. I must say it's very responsive. But I can tell you, you need to get used to the joystick. Super beefcake. Right, so let's try a fighting game and let's see how it plays with fighting games. I'm very curious how this is going to play. Oh crap, come on. I must say that's very responsive. Can I do it sure you can? Mm. One. No, I cannot do that. Alright, so in this part I want to show you how you connect the second controller. So basically what it is, we're having the Raspberry Pi inside the main module or the main arcade stick. We're having this female USB that I already shown you. What you're going to do is very simple grab and let's say just a USB hop. Stick it in here. It was not too good. And what you're going to do is grab the USB connection for player one and two and put them in here. So that's the only thing what you're going to do, boot it up. And if everything is configured, it will automatically see both controllers. And we're going to play some games together. So we're having two joysticks from the 90s connected together. 
and we can do this up to four joysticks in total. I think that is pretty awesome. Alright, so let's try another game. And as you can see, it works like a charm. All right, so let's open it up, this old school arcade stick. And it gives you a little idea how you can connect your stick to and by itself. So this is an old Super NES, what I already mentioned. And what is very convenient about this stick is that it has a lot of space inside. But don't get me wrong, it's a very big cabinet. But it is still squeezing in the Raspberry Pi. It's a Pi Zero, so it doesn't take up many, much space. But when you want to upgrade with a Pandora box, for example, or maybe with a Pi 4, that is out of the question. There is no room. You will shall see when I open it up. Even opening up is going to be a freaking challenge. All right, the four screws have been removed from the front. Now we're going to remove all of these from the back. I know for a fact that putting this thing together is going to be a freaking nightmare. All right, so here goes the last one. And the thing what we can do now is lift up the cover itself. It squeezes, it's good. And I can remember that I need to wiggle it a little bit. All right, I have some movement. Let's lift it up so I can show you what inside and what I mean with there is not a lot of space so what you can see over here that and this is the tricky thing there was a converter online you can buy them on, on eBay for let's say five euro they're freaking cheap but this is the one you're going to need with the Raspberry Pi here you can see the cable nightmare if you want to do a little bit soldering you can make it a little bit shorter but as you can see over here we have the cable that goes outside so basically what I'm doing is or what the previous owner did is that he used this converter the original connector left it inside converted to the usb this usb has been put in the raspberry pi zero over here and the cable that goes outside is more like an output and an input so what you can see over here about the cabling basically this cable goes outside and this is the cable that connects the usb to the connector of the original controller and the reason why he he basically did this is because you have the option to play alone or play with second or even multiple evil controllers here we have the cable that comes back in and connects with the pi itself and what i really like about this joystick or like it just make, make this more authentic feeling is that we're having the old school micro switches as you can see the very thin wires that you need to be careful about putting it back together but here you can see the spring itself and this is what we call real old school stuff and for the people thinking oh man you need to get a pi 3 or 4 in here but you can see that this metal blade uh, that puts the joystick together will go around here so there's not much space left because this thing is so huge inside we still have some room left for a pi to build in but keep in mind that it's a little bit squeezing and if you can see it it is always a little bit tricky putting it back together so it is, there is no room for, let's say, run, run real Pi 4 or Pi 3 or even in Pandora box. This is what you're going to get. But I think it's really fun. This is a really old school thing with the joystick. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It would be great to have you in the Wicked family. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, and we'll see you in the next video.